Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in the Wakefield studio today. I hope you're all well. The weather is pants, isn't it pants? And because we're in our unit, my goodness me, the noise in here is incredible. So I know when it's really bad outside and I think a lot of you have already been saying about the weather. So, you know, make sure you've got your towels at the ready. I've got to go and get Tom after school. I'll look like a drowned rat by the time we've finished. So welcome to the Wakefield studio everyone, my name is Tony Darrock and this is our lovely studio here in Wakefield where you can come and get some inspiration, particularly more so stamping and colouring and die cutting but we do touch on other sort of craft areas also so make sure you stay tuned. We have a subscribe button, if you want to click that subscribe button then that will give you all the notifications, particularly if you click that bell, you will get all the notifications when we are live and when something new has been uploaded. There is a little HD button as well which gives you a better viewing experience. So if you um, are new to us at Stamps By Me, you can always pop a comment under our live studio and have a chat with the lovely family that are already there and waiting. Or when the studio has finished, you can pop a comment underneath about what you thought about the studio. Did you enjoy it? Is it something you already do? Um, we love to hear from you no matter what. We will be posting our finishing makes over on our Facebook page too and we have our wonderful Eureka fan page where you can go and get lots of inspiration from the lovely ladies who are avid followers of Stamps By Me and gents and our lovely design team. So I hope you're all well. So hi David, Tracy, Bridget, Maxine, Paul, Jacqueline, lots of you on today. I suspected there'd be a few on today because everybody's indoors aren't they staying cosy which is nice. So in today's studio we're going to be using the lovely It's All About You paper collection. Hopefully you'll all be getting them soon. Some of you have already got them so Create and Craft are um, moving swiftly which is nice. If you haven't got them I'm sure they're en route to you as we speak. Um, and again this video it never goes away. You can click pause, you can mute me, you can rewind, you can fast forward to the bits that you're not bothered about and you can always rewind if you get a little bit stuck which is incredible. So pants here, pants, yeah okay well hopefully this studio is going to cheer you up hopefully big smiles which is always a bonus so what we're going to do is today I'm going to show you um, we're going to step away from colouring today we're going to do some paper crafting some true paper crafting so no dyes no nothing just our trusted scissors and our lovely paper pad now I'm going to just show you through the paper pad very very quickly because a lot of you may not have seen me over on Create and Craft launching this fabulous paper pad and a lot of you may be just watching on here for the first time so I'm just going to show you this lovely lovely paper pad and the designs that are within okay so with the paper pad it is a 12 by 12 obviously it's 48 pages 200 gsm you can see here the details and it's 12 designs it's uncoated so it takes all of your lovely inks and your watercolors and your stamps you can build on top of it if you want to so we have the squares and the banners and some lovely like um areas for your sentiments and things like that we have the next design which is your fabulous sort of uh, postcards and tags and borders on there and I'm going to show you how important these are and why we put them in there for you and then just some of the lovely lovely designs that are within this paper pad so so usable very arty very me very stamps by me design always have a plain wood grain it's a necessity and then we just have these gorgeous just sort of true arty colour arty colours, arty designs that you can build on top of and create and make your own masterpieces whether that's going to be a 12 by 12 project, a scrapbook page or maybe some mini albums, some wallets or cards. You all saw me in the live shows creating beautiful cards and if you look at the set around me I have put all of the lovely design team makes samples out for you so you can get a flavour of what you can create with these lovely pads and this one down here is a lovely gift set with five cards in and you can see there just adding a little bit of twine and one of the tags just to say thank you if that was on a stand and it had a price on of about five or six pounds I would pay it knowing that probably the money was going to go to charity and help the lovely lady or gent that's made them to buy more goodies to create and make for craft fairs and things like that I love handmade and I'm not um, bothered about spending my hard-earned money to buy something that somebody spent time to make and I'm sure you're the same at home, hopefully. 
So that's the paper pad. Tracy is a paper pad stroker and sniffer. Nothing to do with me. I think Tracy's got issues, like most crafters. <laughs> so let's crack on. So very, very simple today. I'm going to show you how we're going to put a lovely sort of gift wallet stroke photo album. It can be one of many things, okay? I'm just going to give you the basis of how I put it together and the elements that I'm going to use from the paper pad and then you can maybe make it personalised for the person that you're going to give it to. So maybe you do want to do things for charity, pop pictures of dogs and cats and your lovely friends in there or if you want to do it as a gift card, so a gift card in every page, a couple of pounds on each gift card, something like that, so like one for Monday, one for Tuesday, one for Wednesday, but it's absolutely up to you. Photographs, you know, like the lockdown photographs with everybody with their masks and things like that, we've got to turn something that's been quite negative into something positive, and you'll be able to do your own twist on it. So as you all know, I absolutely love a really good wallet. We've done several wallets and I do encourage you to go back and watch the YouTube videos of us creating A4 wallets where we just score it twice, we fold it in, we put a nice belly band round, gift card inside, a DL card inside. But today we're going to totally chop it up a little bit and we're going to use a 12 by 12 papers because I honestly think some people struggle with 12 by 12 papers, me included. What to do with them? How can we get the most out of the designs? So what I've done here is... I just took some of the patterned papers and I just cut them at five inch, okay? So I've just take, torn this page out of my um, 12 by 12 and I've cut it at five and this one's five as well, okay? And then all we're going to do is I'm going to take my scoreboard and because my paper pad is 12 by 12, I'm going to score at six so it's going to fold in half. So I have my scoreboard and a score tool. You like Jan likes the wallet that we made in spring. Which one was that? Was that using Linda Chapman's papers or was it ours, Jan? I think I remember that one. We do like wallets. And again, if you're making one, do all the cuts for three, okay? Three wallets for the price of one. You've got everything out and you'll have some waste. Like I got two sheets of this out of one 12 by 12 because it's five and I had a strip left for my belly bands and things like that. So you might as well do two. You're doing two cuts, so do two. So I'm just going to pop this onto my um, scoreboard here and I'm just going to score at six, okay? So I'll just put a nice score line in there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in so the pattern is on the inside, okay? So that's one. And then we'll take our second design and we'll score at six. So if you are making a note or if you are thinking, do you know what, I want to do that, but I want to do it later, I'm a little bit busy at the moment, that's okay. So the designs are five inch wide, five inch wide and scored at six. And then when you fold them over, you have like a lovely, lovely design on the inside. Like so. So we did two. Oh, so we did two there. He just saw me do the two. Orange papers, Marilyn, it, it was. By gosh, you lot have got a good memory. That just, that's just a credit to this channel though, isn't it? We've got ladies on here who've been here from day one. Back in the studio at our old place with the snowy background and things like that. So yeah, I'm so grateful that you stay with me. Yes, I am. I really am. Oh, Claire Tanner has a Eureka for Christmas. Oh, exciting. So you've seen me just do the two there. Okay, very, very easy. And then all I've done ahead of time is I've done a further five. So one, two, so you can see three. Now, there are no rules with how many pages you do. You can make it as fat as you want. If you've got 20 pictures you want to put in, do more pages. There are no rules. You can do three pages if you want to. But I've gone ahead and done three, four, five, seven. A bit greedy like, but seven's all right, isn't it? So you can see there, seven. Okay. So all we're going to do is I'm going to get them in my order as I'd like my album to work. So first page, sorry, first page, yep, I like that one. So I'm just going to get them in order because I don't want all the decorative papers together. I want to separate them. So we've got a plane and then we've got another decorative one, which is fine. Make sure the script's the right way up, okay? And then we've got another decorative one. I love this page. Is that not incredible? And then another one, so the script's the right way up. And then we have this one as well, the script is the right way up. 
and then this one at the back so that's fine super super easy so let's get these stuck together so I'm going to use a tape pen but if you are making it as a gift for somebody at home you maybe use a really good glue and tape so it doesn't drop apart when you give it to the person that you're giving it to I remember the old studio I know crazy isn't it right so all I'm going to do is I've just got my pile here so I'm just going to on the back of this one here just going to pop some tape I'm just going to stick it on top of the next one so line it up and it doesn't matter if you don't get it exactly straight it isn't the end of the world okay so that's on there so I'm going to turn this one over so basically I'm just sticking them on top of each other get the next one stick it on top Now I'm going to turn that one over and as you can see we've got a little bit of overhang where I haven't particularly done it straight it's not the end of the world we're going to cover it so don't worry about it if you've got a slight tremor or a little bit of a shake and you can't get things exactly right I'll show you how to get around that and then we'll get our next one and what I am doing though is I'm lining the score line up more than I am anything else and turn this one over so is everybody following me so far with what I'm doing sticking all of those white back sides of paper together so far next one make sure you get that score line nice and straight together if you can because that will really help with the open and closing of your book like so oh Myra's also getting a Eureka for Christmas so exciting hey and then next one let me just yeah next one And then on to our last one. Yep, yeah, everybody's so far. Pat Pepper, if you say yes, I know we're good. <laughs> and then the last one. And it's a good way to use up the papers that you've maybe got in your stash. So if you do like any of our products, you can go to our website and pop FBL into that search engine and it will take you to all the products that we've launched recently or we've used in the studio but as always we do not encourage you to switch off just because you haven't got our products you might have some else's papers because there are some fabulous papers out there really is so here if you look here now we have our little book come together so we've got like this page and then when you flip another you've got a decorative like so on can you see what i mean so because we've stuck those white back sides together, we have a sort of a lovely book coming together. So if you have any overhang across the bottom, and on some of them I have got a little overhang, it's absolutely fine. Just pop it in your guillotine and whoosh, whip it off. So everybody's okay. That's good. Right, so let's bind, let's bind our book because we've got this ugly thing going on here you can see the score lines in there look it looks pretty ugly so what we're going to do is we're going to hide this ugly mess here and make it look really pretty maybe it'll make it look like it's a shop bought book rather than a handmade book so from my off cut I have another piece at five inch wide so nothing fancy here going on and what I want to do is I want to pick a pretty spine for the top of my um, book here so I'm going to grab my um, paper pad here I'm just going to take one of the designs and I'm going to go quite floral yeah let's go floral let's go this one what am I mind you it's got lines in that one and I don't want to have to match up the lines so let's go the other one 
Let's go this one without the lines. So this is how we're going to sort of bind our book and make it look pretty. So I'll just grab my guillotine and because we know that our book is five inch wide, I'm just going to cut it at five inch. And I'm going to get that pretty watercolour part. So five inch again and then I know it's going to fit beautifully on my project like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut four inch. Okay. And you'll see what, I'm, see what I'm doing in a second. Do not waste your papers though, guys. Put these to one side because they're definitely, definitely going to get used again. So I'll just pop that. No, I better pop it behind here. So we have this lovely, lovely decorative part here. So it's exactly the same width as our book, okay? The five inch wide. And then we have this decorative part here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to... I haven't decided, shall we go purple or shall we go, let's go purple. So all I'm going to do is create a bind on the top here. So I'm going to pop some glue or tape, whatever you wish, onto the front. So make sure we've got the front of our book, which is this one to start with, look, yeah. And then all I'm going to do, try and line it up best I can, is I'm just going to stick this to the front of our book five inch wide so it's exactly a lovely fit get it straight if you can like so so we've got that and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it round so it looks like a notepad so I'm just going to massage that paper over and then this will go to the back and be hidden okay can we see that there now, what you want to be mindful of, can we see I've got like a notebook going on now, so it looks quite pretty, hey? Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is, because we're going to pack it out in the centre here, we're going to put things inside, I'm not going to adhere the back, okay, because it might bulk out a little bit. And what will happen is, if you glue it first off without decorating the inner part, what will happen is, this end will be really fat because we've got belly bands and pockets and things and this end will be like crushed tight shut because we've glued it. So you can glue it to the front but don't glue it to the back until you've done the inside. Okay, so now let's decorate the front of our book, okay. So I have the lovely piece of wood grain here again and again it's five inch wide so it will fit on the front of my book here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my... Um, Eureka. So is everybody with me so far on what we've done? I do appreciate that I might be racing ahead, but you can always pause me and go back and watch it again if you're thinking I've, I've, lost, I've lost what she's done there. Okay, you can pause me and rewind, but is everybody so far? I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I appreciate we may have new crafters, we may have advanced crafters. I have to try and cater for everyone. I wouldn't want to miss anyone out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pop this mannequin from Craft Academy and we'll go these two on the front here. Now I'm just going to try and get them very similar height. In fact, I might just take her down I chop the bottom off of that little mannequin there. But I'm just trying to get them centralised and I'm going to take them right to that very edge and you'll see why in a second. And then we'll stamp this one in black. But you could heat emboss. And you can really spend time making these wallets. You really can. And enjoy them. That's what it's about. You know, at Christmas, you give a Christmas card and give a wallet with a gift in. So I'm just stamping this, these two designs onto the front of our page here. And then we have two mannequins on our wood. So I'll just dry that off very quickly. Well, I'll try and dry it off. It stays wet. Just get rid of the stamp. Keeping up, Tony. Well done, Maxine. 
So if you just go with the idea of my book, what I'm doing is five inch wide. So everything you cut has to be five inch wide, okay? We can deal with the, le the, with the height, but if you keep everything five inch, it keeps it simple as well. Uh, but if you want to do a six inch book, an eight inch book, you've got 12 by 12 paper. So in a sense, you could do um, right up to an eight inch book, really, couldn't you? Obviously on the front, it wouldn't fold back behind. But it's just food for thought. So we have this design here. So what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to put the mannequins on the front of our little book here. Can we see here? So you can see here, I'm going to have to trim it down. I don't have to worry about the width because it's the five inch. So I'm just going to take a slither off the bottom. So I can get my pretty design at the top. I'm going to go as close as I can to those designs without taking anything off the gown. Just move that to the side. So you can see now when we put this on the front of our book, I'll just move it over slightly so you can see that banner we popped in. Can you see that banner there? Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little finger mark there, just a little bit above, and then we'll just cut it off and we'll mount it on the front. So you can see now the front of our book looks rather pretty. So let's glue this onto the front. So you could stamp the poppy, which is within the collection if you did buy the complete collection. Stamp the poppy several times if you've got a cluster of flowers in your stash. Or Carol made. Uh, Carol's saying that she's made her grandkids some wallets. That's incredible. I do love a good wallet. And it's just getting those papers used, isn't it, as well, I suppose. So all I'm doing is I'm just popping this paper right into this bottom corner and at the top. And hopefully if I line it up straight, it will sit nice and flush with our front page. So you can see now we've got that lovely design there. Looks really, really pretty. And that can go our pages. Already coming together. Looks really, really cool. Again, I haven't stuck the back yet because I'm scared. If we fill out the front, it might pop it. So we'll wait till we've got our insides filled. So ahead of time, I stamped the last mannequin in that collection on that watercolour card. So in the set, you get that lovely pink and white watercolour card. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one here in the centre. We see that there so we're creating quite a, an arty book here but what I am going to do first of all is I'm going to pop some twine around her waist like a bow so I'm just going to pop some tape to the back of her body and then what we'll do is we'll wrap the twine around the waist Can we see now? So she's got a bit of texture around her belly there. And then we'll just cut that little piece away. So she's got some texture around the centre of her mannequin um, gown. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. Do we think we should? No. Let's stick, shall we stick within the grey area? Maybe. Let's have a think. We'll stick within the grey, hey? So let's pop this lady flat. This lady. This lady's outfit. <laughs> and I'm going to stick within the grey. Because what I might do later is add some twine across here. Does that look okay? Might add some twine around there and a bow. Make it quite pretty. So back to our good old roots, no paintbrushes, no dyes, no nothing. We're just fussy cutting today and playing. Okay, so let's go into our first page. So if ahead of time I cut lots of elements from my 8x8 pad and from my 12x12 um, 12 12 pad, so I have squares, decorative squares, I have the tags from the back, I have smaller tags, I have 
the postcards from the 12 by 12. I have some, um, where's the other ones? Smaller ones here, look. So all in keeping with the theme of our card, but I just quickly cut them. We've got some border ones here, so you could personalize if you wanted to say a little child's name or mum or dad, if you did a masculine one. And then what I've done also is I've cut some of the borders which are in the back of the paper pad. I'll just show you that because that's why those borders are important because you know I love a good belly band. So it's these ones here in the back of the paper pad. So I just cut them in my guillotine. So I've got some lovely borders and then there's your squares and your panels on there too. So let's have a look what's going on on our first page. So all you do is open your book and it opens really easy because we've got that lovely score line in there, okay? So let's create, shall we pop a belly band on this one? Let's have a look. Or shall we go a pocket? So the off cuts from, so you saw I cut five inch wide, five inch wide. That means there's two inch left because it's a 12 by 12. So this is the two inch that's left. Don't throw this away because this acts as a great pocket. So let's just grab our guillotine again. I'm just going to grab my little kit and caboodle one here to save if it'll go in the 12 by 12. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off that stitch end because that's where it's bound in our book. So just take that off first of all. <coughs> Excuse me. And I am going to have to use my big one because I need it to be five inch wide. So let's grab our guillotine. So basis of because my book's five inch wide, everything's five inch. Just remember that. You can't go far wrong, I don't think. So I'm going to pop this on here, five inch. And whilst I've got this piece here, I'm going to do another five inch because I've got a lot of pages in my book. So I also have more off cuts look from, from the rest of my pages. So whilst I'm here, if I don't use them in this one, they'll get used in another one. So I'm just going to take off that stitch again. And then cut them all at once. Five. And then five. And this is what I mean. We're doing the cuts. We have the cardstock. Because these would only go in your bit box and never be used, wouldn't they? So make lots of projects at once. So there's never hardly any waste, to be honest. I mean, the slither's a waste, but not a lot, really. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a pocket across the bottom. Or you could put your pocket wherever you want. So let's have a look which design we want to go with. You could do a matching. Watercolour one. You could, the world is your oyster. Let's do, let's do the grain, hey? Because it's five inch wide, perfect fit for my pocket. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to do glue down. Hopefully my glue will work. I think it's blocked to be honest. It's blocked. Oop, we'll come back to that one. Let's try another one because I have hundreds of glues down this side. Let's see if this one's any better. So you're only going to glue left, right and bottom. If you glue the top, you're not going to get out behind it. Don't make that mistake. Is this one blocked too? Well, I'm not having a good day, am I? Another blocked. Does anybody else have this drama? Let's go another glue. <laughs> what are we like? And then a wet one, hopefully this is a wet glue. Mark, there we go. So bottom, left and right. You can just see that there, not at the top, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this onto your card. So if you're thinking, well, I'd like to put a bar of chocolate in there, you're gonna have to put sort of a hinge around, you know, like a little bit of What's the word I'm looking for? Somebody help me out. Like some score lines where you get a deeper pocket. If you're thinking about putting something thicker in, you need that deeper pocket, okay? So 
So I have that across the bottom and I'm just going to leave that to dry. And then I'm going to make, and then this one here at the top, I'm not going to decorate all the pages because I haven't got enough stuff, but I'm just going to basically show you how you can make a pretty album. So this square here that I've cut here, this actually matches. Now you can mat and layer onto gold, onto blacks to make them pop. And I'm just going to pop this in here and I'm going to stick that flat. And you could write photo here. So a cheeky photo, like that grab. So we've got a photo, this one here, we'll let that dry before we pop anything in. Then we have our next page. So let's do something different on this one. Shall we do a belly band? Let's do a belly band, okay? So again, just gonna cut with my scissors. So it's, um, and I'm just gonna pop glue down the left. and the right and this is where you can put little tags behind so let's do a belly band on this one make sure it's straight I'll give it a second to grab a tiny Z fold yeah, it's just so you create, is it a gusset sort? Not a very nice word, isn't that? But you know, so you can get like, say if you wanted to get like my son in what, the milky bar chocolate, I could just pop a chocolate in there. Like a bar of chocolate or something. But these are really inexpensive gifts. You could put the age of the person on the front, hey Tom, you're seven, or, you know, personalise them. Or if your husband's into fishing or you've got gent stamps, you could really personalise these. I mean, I'm doing a pretty one because I've just launched this paper pad and I want to show you more than what I just showed you on TV. But you will have stuff in your stash where you can make these, just get them cut up and glue them together. So you can already see here, if we stamped like, uh, have a great day or I love you, and then these sit inside your belly bands like so. Can we see that there? So, but I'm not going to pop that in, I'm going to give that a chance to dry. I'm going to leave that plain. So let's move on to our next page. So on this one, shall we go with another pocket, a different design? Let's go, let's go this quite plain one here. So again, um, left, or oh, might look right to you. So you can see why we've left that hinge on the top of our project. On the top of our project because it is going to get quite bulky. If you were to add a Costa card or something like that or a voucher for a certain specific shop that somebody loves, uh, you could decorate Jacqueline Smith, great idea. If you have um, have a ghost dinosaurs, you could put a dinosaur on each pocket, couldn't you? That'd be cool. So on this one, we've got this plain pocket, but we do have those lovely, lovely, you see these? Let me just find the other one I've cut. We do have those lovely like panels, which are these ones, and they fit seamlessly within, look. Can we see there? So you can pop on there, you know, you are awesome. Anything you want to, personalise it. So we'll pop, we'll decorate this pocket on this one. Just make sure nothing's moved. So you can see how it's coming together. I love chocolate, Enid, yes. <laughs> and then some alternative ways then of creating variations in your pockets is if you grab, say, two of the squares, um, let's have a look, let's grab two of the postcards, okay, and you put one on top of the other like so, and then you grab your, sc these are just little ways of sort of like bulking out your pockets if you want to, so um, let's just grab my scoreboard here, I'm just going to pop a little score line in the top, like so and then can we see how we've got like our little 
sort of postcard with the score line across the top and then with maybe some of your pattern paper you've got left from your stash let's shall we go with this one you know I've cut into it we might as well hadn't we and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that down and I'm going to create a little mini book inside a book but honestly when you get going when you get going you'll come up with little and I, I do appreciate probably a lot of you may have posh fancy dyes that create these um, albums and things like that and that's okay you can obviously use those you spent a lot of money on them get them used but a lot of people won't I don't I, and I do like the simplicity of creating something quite unique I really do so and all I've done I'll just show you what I've done there so I've cut it the same width of my postcard and I'm going to glue that behind there okay like so it's really where I started as well actually is like mini albums I absolutely love mini albums it's where I met my good friend Sandra who's on my design team because she did mini albums and then whilst that's sticking there all I'm going to do is hold it with my hand and I'm just going to cut around so it matches And then we have like a little book within a book does that make sense and then this one just move this out of the way this is the important thing about keeping all your scraps so this is the piece that i cut off one of my things isn't it so i'm going to put a belly band in this little mini book because we can so i'm just going to take my scissors you can see there i'm just going to trim that edge off i'm just going to pop some glue on either side Oh, Maxine Winter says she doesn't have any dyes either, so oh, that's, that's, well, this is going to be perfect, Maxine. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun creating these. So I've just created myself a little belly band inside this little mini book. And just give that a second to grab. And then what that allows is for, if you're doing like a thank you tag album or somebody where they can create note cards and things like that, you could pop a few tags in, look. Let's just give that a second to grab. Oh, shall we put two in? Because we've got lots, we might as well, haven't we? Should we put a different one in? So we have a book inside a book. And let's go back. Should we pop it in this pocket? So I don't think it really matters. Should we pop it behind that belly band? The thing is with these as well, though, you can pop this flap in front of a belly band. Does that make sense? So it doesn't have to all be behind the belly band it's entirely up to you I'm going to pop it in a pocket though because it's got tags in I don't want it to go rogue so I'm going to pop that inside that pocket like so so that looks quite pretty hey shall we pop another panel up here for a picture we'll do this one straight now I would mat and layer this onto some coloured cardstock to give it dimension but I'm here just to maybe inspire you a little bit. There we go. See there? So you could write photo here, actually write photo here. So whoever you give it to, they know to stick a photo on there. So this is coming together. It's looking quite good. So. What I'm going to do is I will... Um, pick a winner for this over on Facebook after the show if you pop a comment on the Facebook page because it's a project I will pick a winner before tomorrow and I will post it out to one lucky winner let me know your thoughts right so let's carry on on our pages so I've done one two three four just remember if you do lots of pages you've got lots of pages to fill like me so I am going to use um Santa, it is a bit of an album or a gift wallet or you could put photos in the back end of it and a gift card in the front so I'm just using the scraps of my paper now just to embellish the pages I really don't want to cover that up I don't want to cover it up like so and then we'll put some things in pocket so let's just carry on and this is a great thing and I might put one up there as well And this is a great thing about having your papers in your stash. And uh, has any is everybody um, has anybody received their papers yet?
Yeah, that's right, Carol, lots of papers with bits in the back that we don't use, absolutely. It's really cool. Thank you, Sunny, that's very kind. So we've got two pockets on this one. Give it a second to grab. So we've got one at the top, one at the bottom. You have to be careful though, because obviously that goes down. So make sure you put something quite sturdy in that one. And then, oh, two more pages. So I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Let's put another belly band. And then we'll start to fill with our lovely tags and things, what we've fussy cut out of the back. If you really, really want to, I mean, you do, you just don't want to cover that. Is that not just an incredible page? That is beautiful. I don't want to cover it. Um, if you really want to make that extra special album, you can use your magnets, you can use your matte and layers, your black matte and layers to bring it all together. Make it look quite exquisite if you want to. But this is just a quick, safe option, five inch wide, scored in the middle and stuck together. You know, if you do want to do some quick albums, I think they're pretty anyway. I like a good album. That's just me. So shall we stick a, ta what we'll do is we'll pop a postcard at the top here on this one, can we see? So you can write a message. Like if you're doing a message for a friend or something like that, you can put, can you remember when? Or can you remember when you fell off the swing in the tree house? Or can you remember when your mum went crazy because we painted the garage door I don't know you know it's gonna put a smile on somebody's face reading it isn't it or a reminder of when you were kids so I'll pop this one at the top because this one matches beautifully up there but again if you've got your flowers you can do some creeping flat flowers around things like that can't you you could put oh, could pop another one here with a sentiment on there if you want to let's pop that on there So I will pick a winner and then the winner can, whoever receives it, if you would like to tart it up a little bit and put your own twist on it, because I'm speed crafting here. And then last page is this one. Now you could do um, an alternative belly band. So the belly band is at the middle or at the side. So shall we do one at the side on this one? So at least you can go back, can't you, and um, look at how the book was constructed. Yeah, you probably won't want to watch me just tarting it up like I am, because you'll just absolutely, as soon as that book's put together, you'll be off. You will literally be off. You'll have your own ideas. They'll all start coming together. So I've just popped that one down there. And then we'll pop this one. In this corner up here look or shall we go green now we'll go bright because it matches the belly band can you remember when we went skinny dipping sandra hey <laughs> it's good to reminisce though it's good for the soul so there we have that and then we have our back page okay we will need to decorate the back which is probably a good thing because look we've got this piece of scrap here which is left from our front so we'll put that on the back and make it look pretty so let's just have a quick flick shall we pop some things in now and pack it out a little bit so with your tags and things they do have a pre-printed hole so if you have your crocodile or a punch you can punch them through pop some twine through some fancy ribbon if you want to I don't think there's any rules at all it's each to their own now i would probably cut a few more tags you know to bulk these out so some of the bigger let's put a big one in here look so we've got some tags in here shall we does that fit on there shall we pop a little yeah let's go for it so this is the fun part this is lovely thank you tony that's very, you're very kind you guys thank you Anne. It's just an alternative craft, isn't it, than always oh, stamping and stenciling. And these are incredible gifts. You're going to put a smile on somebody's face, aren't you, with these sort of gifts? So there we have a pocket page with some tags in there. Then we have our belly band. Now I'm running out of tags now, but you get the idea. 
And then we have our little mini book with our little belly band in with some extra tags in there. You could stamp a sentiment in there. And then I really don't want to cover this one. So I'm just going to pop that square piece in there. You could write a message on there, a note, just a note. And we have some pockets here. Pop some postcards, some of the tags. Now I've run out. I really have run out now. Have I glued that? No. And oh, we've got one tag left. Look. And then we could do with something for here. But anyway. So as you can see now, our book is bulked out quite a bit now. So that's the great thing about waiting for this now. If I'd have done it tight, my book would have sat like that. Okay, but because I'm not going to do it tight, my book is going to shut and be nice. So let's pop some tape on here. And I'm just going to sort of give it a little bit of grace, just in case you do want to pop a picture in whoever wins it. So I am just going to give it a little bit of grace. Pull it into my chest there. So can you just see clo very close there, I have left just that tiny little bit there, just that grace. So should we start to pack it out and bulk it out, it will absolutely allow it to do so it won't start popping at the seams. So I'll give that a good push down. And then with our grey piece at the back, so we've got a lovely finished back and I'm going to cut it short. And I'll probably try and do it so it matches the front, so I just need to pop a little mark there. And then I just cut that in my guillotine and then our back looks pretty too. And if you have the lovely handmade stamps, you know what you put on the back of your cards, that would be nice to pop a handmade by on the back of. So you can see now our back matches our front. Looks, pre looks pretty, doesn't it? Does everybody agree or am I just having too much fun? Jenny's saying things about um, making things for the dog res rescue charity. Absolutely. That's what I had in mind for this one, um, Jenny. So if you didn't see this one, this is the one that I did on TV. So you know these inexpensive like wood, really thin pieces of wood and with love. I just did that and I did a belly band around and then inside I did, I just mounted all of the patterned papers onto some like sparkly or gold mirror. This is not, I haven't done anything. I haven't picked up a brunch, I haven't brush. I haven't stamped any large images. I just put just for you, popped a bunch of five together, you know, um, with a lovely coordinating belly band that says with love. And that's just to say thank you to whoever's maybe bought it, donated, you know, I think the lovely, lovely gifts. And imagine a stand where you've done lots of handmade things like that. It'd look incredible, doesn't it? I wish I had the time. I used to do it all the time. And I'm not joking, if I started one album, there was five on the go at once. I've always been like that, you know. I never just do one, I always do more than one because all, the sta all my stash is out. That's why I encourage it today, because it's such an efficient way, if it, particularly if you are doing things for charity and things like that. So here we have our lovely book. What I'm going to do though is I'm just going to sort of tidy this and join here very quickly and I'm going to do it with some pretty twine. I'm going to pop a bow on, like we said, because it's quite girly, isn't it? And then we'll tie it at the front. So I'll keep this bit to the front and then this will be for our bow part. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here. Now I'm not bothered if it's not straight. It's not the end of the world. I don't really want it to be straight. I just want it to be pretty. So I'm just wrapping it round and you'll have this pretty twine design inside the front cover too. So that's nice as well. So I'm just going to keep wrapping until I run out. And then I'll budge them apart, make it look as pretty as I can. And then in this corner.
And then I would probably cut one of the tags, that's it, let's just try to pinch one of the tags from the inside. Maybe pop a tag on to say with love or thank you. So there we go, shall we just quickly have a quick run through? So there's the front cover and the twine matches her belly as well. You could put a lovely diamante in the centre of her belly there. And then inside we have the lovely twine detail here. Pop a photo, pockets with tags, belly bands. I mean, you feel, you can really go to town and fill yours. And then we have our lovely little book inside, which has got the tags inside as well. So a lovely little keepsake. Um, I don't want to cover that. And then more tags, you can do absolutely as you please. Fill the pockets, pop pictures inside, frames, things like that. And then some notes, another belly band with a lovely tag inside and then on the last page our belly band's going that way so we could maybe pop like a gift card or something this way in if you wanted to and then maybe another picture on there so there we go i'll just hold it, see if it'll stand up will it stand up will it stand up might do i will just get out of the way so we can just grab a screen of that if it's allowed there we go very very simple so use the stamps that you've got in your stash because they will work and make yourself some little notebook. So I will give this away over on our Facebook page. I'll post a picture in half an hour or so. I need to take the picture. And um, if you pop a comment below about if you're going to make some, any comment at all, obviously as long as it's kind. Um, and then we'll send, um, I'll pick a winner or I'll get one of the design team girls to pick a winner and we'll get this lovely gift out to you. It's not often we give away things now at the moment because we don't want to overrun Royal Mail because of the situation. But I think we haven't done it for such a while that we'll get away with just one little one, won't we? So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. It's gone quite quick, hasn't it? So have a lovely time cutting your papers, having fun. That's what they're there for. And if you're creating one, create three or maybe five. It depends. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely evening. Stay safe, stay out of the rain, stay cosy. And I will see you all tomorrow at three o'clock. Take care, everyone. Bye.